Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am back with a little Lua tutorial here. It's going to be going through a little bit of the basic, trying to show you exactly what you need to know to get a couple things done. And hopefully, I will show you a couple new things that you guys don't know yet. And I'm going to be showing you guys um, some, probably some new tricks you haven't seen before, just to get new values in there, getting a camera through to the other side, writing values through there. And um, sadly, I am going to have a touchscreen tutorial that's going to be a totally different video. So if you guys are waiting to figure out how to do touchscreens with Lua programming, that'll be in an upcoming video. Anyway, I'm going to jump right in here, and while I am bringing back to the workbench i do apologize for my voice it's a little stuffy still because i am getting over a cold here but hopefully you guys can still hear what i'm saying so right now i've set up a pretty basic little test bench for some lua code here we have a regular screen connected to a button i have a camera up here and we'll be using that in a minute and we also have a couple throttle values and um, I'm gonna use those in a minute as well but um, just for um, purposes here I'm going to increase their values to a hundred because I'm gonna use them as some value examples I'm actually gonna call them fuel one and fuel two as like fuel tanks because that's what I'm going to be using in my microcontroller here. So if you aren't comfortable with microcontrollers, this might take you a little bit longer. But stick with me. Um, ooh, that was bad for my voice. But anyway, stick with me and we should get through this. So this will be my Lua Basics 2.0. Because I do already have a Lua Basics in my inventory. Because it's when I was first just playing around with it. Anyway, we're going to bring in a couple different values here. We're not going to be using all of them just right now, but um, don't be afraid. We should be fine. We're going to have a video output first off. And that is going to be what is going to connect up to that monitor. We're going to have two numerical inputs, and that's going to be those two fuel ones. Fuel 1 and fuel 2 here. Not fuel 23, fuel 2. And we are also going to have a composite input here. Um, that's actually going to be our touch screen, which I'm not really going to play with today, but I'm going to show you how to at least connect it up to get the value running into the Lua box. I'm also going to have a video input here because we can also do something pretty cool with the cameras here. If you do want something to show you um, the camera on there, we can run a camera through Lua here and actually bring an output um, behind all the stuff you've written to Lua here. So let's get our first two fuels back there, our output over there, and our camera there. Now, you're going to have to go in here and look for a Lua block, Lua script block. Grab that and paste it down here, connecting that video output to your output here. And we're also going to connect the camera input to the video input, but not just yet. We're going to we're going to give it a minute here. Um, uh, you can see we can connect the touchscreen right up to Lua script, but that's not something we're going to be doing either. Um, we're first going to write two composite values here are numbers for fuel one and fuel two and we can connect that right up to data right there and as you can see we can connect the touch screen right up to there so we can write some numerical values into Lua script and also bring the touch screen here and if i remember correctly the touch screen does run on the first couple composite values so we would have to switch these around but that is a whole another barrel of fish to fry in another episode so let's jump right into what it gives you at the beginning when you first open a lua script here this is actually nothing we need and this we don't want either um first off we're going to go into our on tick function up here and what this is actually doing is this is reading values it can do mathematical functions and a lot of other um programming things like you do if then and statements type of deal here in the on tick because this will happen this will calculate i believe every second or something so we're going to bring in our fuel one value and our fuel two value 
as an input value. So all you have to write after that equal sign is input, then get number, and put two in here. And these values at the end of the get number in parentheses mean what composite input we're reading. So composite input one is where we're gonna get fuel one. Composite input two is what we're reading at fuel two. And we can write done on that. And you can see we wrote fuel one to our input one, fuel two to our input two. So that's actually going to bring in these values here. And then let's say you have two fuel tanks, but you want a fuel total for everything here. So we can write fuel total equals parentheses fuel one plus fuel two. And that's all we have to do to do an addition here. So it should store the fuel total or the fuel one plus fuel two value in the fuel total here. So now that is a working on tick function. Pretty simple, nothing crazy going on there. You can write any values you want. You don't have to do anything like this. You can just bring in two values and then we can write it down here. But now we're gonna get to the on draw function. Now this is one of two of the basic simple functions we have here today. And this is going to be the one that's not doing any calculations but it's going to be drawing a very pretty picture on that monitor we have there. So the first two things we have to bring in are the width and height of the screen here because we're going to be using X and Y values as we write different things down here. Um, as we draw different things, as we write more text and stuff. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Uh, real quick, another note, if you see these two dashes and then uh, like grayed out text, this is a comment in Lua coding. So if I want to say um, right here, this is getting the screen's height. And uh, delete that from there. We can see getting the screen's width, getting the screen's height. We can write right here um, that these two are adding the fuel values, adding fuel one and fuel two for a fuel total. As you can see, that is just, it's a good way to keep your code pretty clean so other people can figure out what's going on with it and um, not have many problems with it because especially if another person wants to come in add another value and they don't know what's going on here say they want to add a third fuel value but they don't know what's going on where you've added those comments will really help with anyone maybe if they picked it up on the workshop and are modifying it for their own use maybe in a survival scene anyway we're gonna get down to our own draw here again and you have to set up width and height just one time in the on draw and now we can move on to setting our color here so um you don't have to do a set color for everything you draw here if you want everything the same color we can do screen set draw and then draw a bunch of text say we want to screen that draw text down here we can just keep doing that and um, we don't have to have any um, color between them. But if you want the draw and the draw text and um, say you're making a rectangle, you want the rectangle to be a different color, you have to do screen set color again and do those three values. You can actually have four values here and I'm gonna break it down real quick with another comment here. Um, the things in the parentheses are our RGB values, red, green, and blue. And actually that fourth value is our transparency. Transparency. I don't know if that's the correct spelling or anything, but you can make fun of me in the comments down below. Anyway, we have a 0 to 255 value for all those. 0 meaning none of it were, I guess zero of it 255 meaning full so if you leave that final value blank that means transparency won't be an option it won't do anything different than setting the value to 255 but if you want it a little bit more transparent say you have that camera feed in the background and you want a overlay over that with some numbers or something we can set this transparency to 100 and you can just barely see that 
in front of the camera there. Let's actually make it, let's just 255 all three of these numbers. I think that'll just give us a black value. But the next thing we're gonna go on to, I did move on to that, so I'm actually gonna delete that and start over. Uh, we're actually going to write a little bit of text here. So we're going to uh, draw text and then we're going to give it a couple different values here. So the first value we want to give it is our X value, then our Y value, and then the actual text we want to write in here. So the X and Y, if you remember back to graphing, that's where you're going to put it on the X plane and the Y plane. So the X plane, we're going to put it at zero. Y plane, we're going to put it at one. And then the text I'm going to write here, I'm just going to say Storm Runner. Why not? So now we know that this is Stormrunner's um, weird design here, and that'll be fine. And actually, for the first one here, I'm going to leave it at a 255 transparency. When I bring the camera back in, I will switch that value so you can see the camera behind and the text in front of it. Now we're going to a screen, and then we're going to go up, and we're going to get a a filled in rectangle here so the nice thing the developers have done is this little help here we can go in we can actually just control c copying that and paste in a rectangle here and it gives all the values we need to write in here so we're going to put it at an x value of zero and a y value of let's just give it 10 a uh, width of four and oh let's give it a, a much bigger width Let's give it um, 100 here and a height of 5. So now that should give us a rectangle in the same color we are writing out Storm Runner in. And the final value, I'm actually going to change up the color for this final value here because I don't want our fuel value to be in the same color as everything else. So I'm just going to strictly make our fuel color blue here. So all we have to do is write 255 as that final value with two zeros there. And then screen, draw, oop, draw text. And then we're going to be giving it an X, Y value to write that out. And I'm actually going to give it two screen draw text here. Because what I'm going to be doing is writing the fuel name above it. So you see how I write Storm Runner in quotations up here? That means it's actually going to write Storm Runner. If I want to write out an actual value, like I'm going to down here, go down here with my fuel value, I'm going to have to write the X, then the Y coordinates, but then I'm going to have to just write fuel total, and it'll come up as white text there. But as you can see, I'm going to be doing a value here but i'm just going to say um total fuel here and so that should write out total fuel just like it's going to be writing out storm runner up there so now you've got a couple things done in this lua code no errors detected make that done there and we don't have this set as a as a block on there so i'm going to save it as lua basics 2.0 and we have to search up Lua here. So search up LUA and if you named it Lua Basics or whatever you named it, you find it there. And we can plop that block on there. Now we have to give it our two fuel values here. Giving it fuel one and fuel two. We have to give it the video output to that screen. And right now we're not gonna play with touchscreen composite, but that's how you would connect it up there. All right, so now we can spawn this thing in and once we turn that screen on we should get a couple of beautiful values going on here as you can see those first two storm runner and the rectangle i drew are in white and then fuel and the fuel value are in blue and if i play around with these throttle values as you can see that um that number there is going up and we do have a bunch of decimal points. You just have to change the value around to change that around. But I mean, it doesn't really bother me how that's going on. So I'm not going to change it right now. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do that camera input now. So if you do want a camera input there as well, say you have this in front of your face um, while you're driving or something, or maybe it's a plane while you're looking down and you want some values 
overlaid that as well. Um, you can take that camera input and drop it right into that Lewis script there. And now that camera should be behind us. But now what we need to do is take our on draw functions, give it a little bit transparency with that 100 value. So now that's done. Oh, did we not save that? Give me a second with that. Yep, we didn't save that. Sorry about that. We just got to fix these two values here. Make sure that's done and actually update that guy. So now we should be getting a camera output from our camera here. And all that text should be pretty... You can see through it, but it is still there. You can see the little angle on there. It's kind of hard to see the Storm Runner in white, so maybe a blue value would be better, especially with the um, the blue sky. So maybe a darker value would be better if you're going with um, a transparent thing over a camera. That's a really another cool thing you can do with Lua Script here. And the final thing I'm not going to be doing in this tutorial, like I've said 20 times, but we have touchscreen values we can play with so if you want to figure that out that is how you connect it up but it does take a little while to set those up and i think it does use the first couple composite values here so of course that is just scratching the surface there are plenty other things we can do there's a thousand other mathematical equations we can use in here um subtraction addition um we've already done addition multiplication division and then we can set up some if then statements and i might do some more advanced if then programming in the future let's say um if the fuel is out of or if the gas tank is out of fuel if fuel total is less than a certain value then we are, we are going to do something to the output but for right now i'm not really going to do that and i'm really going to um fiddle around with it because it would take me a second or two to actually do that but yeah so now we can output some pretty cool things some overlays for a, a picture or just some outputs there of course you can um overlay some pretty cool things i've been working on something where um it overlays players names with the vehicles on the map but that's something that is pretty difficult even for me um somebody might even beat me to that now that i've said something about it. i probably should have just left it in wraps but if you guys want to try that out um it's a crazy another idea I've had. Anyways, yeah, that is my basic Lua tutorial. Um, so if you have any really basic questions or maybe a little bit more advanced, um, you can find me on my community Discord in the Stormworks tab for any of those questions. Um, happy to help always. And um, hope you guys have some fun setting up some Lua here. So, yep, that is where I am going to end it. Hope you guys found this informative. Anyways... If you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been ready. Goodbye. So if you need me and I need to go.